Dr. Miriam Bierge, thank you for being on Veggie Channel. We are at the VegMed uh, 2019 in London. Mm -hmm. We would like to ask you how it happened that you became vegan in your, your life. I became first vegetarian when I was around 18 or 20 years old, mm -hmm. for ethical reasons. And I remained vegetarian for a few years until I realized that it was not uh, not very different between being vegetarian or non-vegetarian and the, the real change was being ve vegan. Mm -hmm. So about six, seven years ago I stopped eating dairy products and, and eggs and, and started being vegan. So were you already a physician or mm -hmm. when you made the, yes, the choice? Yes, yes, I was. How can it happen in the life of a physician that all of a sudden you discover new technical literature and uh, what is the impression that you had when you first had access to this uh, information? Well, it's a slow process and also in the past it was not so easy to find information. It was not so available. So it was uh, something you start to question about the life. You know? I was a teenager when I started thinking about this. And when I went to medical school, I started to read journals, uh, medical journals, journals mm -hmm. about nutrition. I started to to question, to, to see why do we have to eat meat. Mm -hmm. And after a lot of reading, I realized that it was not necessary, that we could live healthy and happily without mm -hmm. having to eat meat, and I started around that time. So how long did it take the transition from you? <laughs> it's difficult to, I don't remember exactly, because it was a period of probably a few months or... Okay, no, it's a question of months, yeah, and not, it, not days no, or hours. No, no it, it was not days or hours. Okay. I, I don't remember, there was no, nobody was vegetarian or vegan, mm -hmm around me, so I was the first one, so for, I didn't have any model, and I just was like reading some okay. some things and, and questioning more things, more and more. You have a very delicate profession because you are a pediatrician, so mm -hmm. was it uh, possible for you to transfer this uh, the switch of your life into your profession as well, at the same time? Yes, it's possible. It's, uh, it was more difficult in the past, but now, because more and more families are asking and as, are asking for help, because they are become, becoming vegetarian and vegan in increasing numbers, and they are looking for professionals that can support them in this. And it's, unfortunately, there are not many people mm -hmm. who can do that. So, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's a very good opportunity now to educate these families, these people, and in general, also the general population. So are you at the moment proposing a, a vegan diet to the to the kids that you are taking care of? No, what I do is, is if a, a family is already vegan mm -hmm. and they come to me for counseling, I can okay. counsel them how to plan a proper, a balanced vegan diet with a child or a family who are who is not vegetarian. Mm -hmm. uh, what I, I tell them, I educate in a, in a healthy diet mm -hmm. that has not to be vegan but is close because mm -hmm. has to be at least a plant-based diet in, in in the majority of food should be. My experience with these families and the children are that they are growing well, they are healthy mm -hmm. as much as the, the, the other children. I haven't seen any significant problem with them. Most families are very sensible, they have a very common sense, they organize their foods well. Do you have uh, the support of any studies? Uh, because this is your own experience. What about the literature? Oh no, there are available? many studies uh, done in the, over the last 20 years or 20 or 30 mm -hmm. years. And they have seen, they have found that vegetarian and vegan children, when they have a varied diet, when they are eating properly, mm -hmm. they have normal growth, normal mm -hmm. development. They cannot be distinguished from, from veget non-vegetarian children mm -hmm. in this respect. What kind of winnings are you proposing? Uh, well, most it's often? quite similar, but instead of meat and fish mm -hmm. and eggs, these children, these babies eat more legumes, more beans, mm -hmm. more soya products like tofu or tempeh. They also eat more nuts and seeds in form of uh, mm -hmm. nut butters, for example. They are very rich in nutrients and okay. in protein. So it's like the natural replacement. Thank you very much for being on Veggie Channel. Hope to Thank see you, you soon uh, next time, maybe in Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.